So welcome back to the sawmill, friends. We have a lot going on today. The first thing I need to do is run across town and pick up something that will hopefully make my firewood situation a lot more organized. I've also got to run by Harbor Freight because I broke one of my tools. That's a shocker. We'll come back here, work on some firewood, maybe some log splitting, and uh, probably saw up some ash. You guys hang in there. It's going to be a good day. Let's go up here and check on the chickens this morning before I leave. Hello, ladies. How y'all doing today? I need to come out here one day and finish the siding on the front of the hen house. Looks terrible. Somebody's in there hollering. They must be laying an egg. Oh yeah, I got snowshoes over there taking care of business. Now friends, my little firewood operation is running smoothly, but I have a problem. Let me explain. So we're set up pretty good here. We have a really nice log splitter. That's the rugged made 37 ton. I also have the log right dump trailer right there to put the firewood in once it comes off the splitter. So the problem is, once I get it split, put it in the dump trailer, I got nowhere to take it to. I'm completely out of dry storage here at the sawmill. Hopefully what I'm going to grab today will help us out on that. Well, look at there, guys. There's cabbage. Morning ritual of sharpening his claws. All right, friends, I'm going to jump in the truck, run across town, get those two items, and I'll be right back. Don't go anywhere. here is what we got and this is nothing new i've seen this on youtube for the past few years killinger does it like this so does mike morgan a lot of other guys they repurpose these ibc totes into firewood holders or firewood carriers whatever you want to call it and those guys swear by them they say it works really well so hopefully it's gonna work good for me so let's go grab some tools and take some of this apart and i've already got a decent amount of hickory put in it. That didn't take too long. Got a good size opening on the front. Plenty of clearance there to put firewood in it. But here the dump trailer is about half full with some hickory. I think that will probably fill this thing up about halfway maybe, I'm not sure. Right, guys, I was wrong about that. I didn't even get it halfway full. That tote will handle a lot of firewood. Good deal. All right, I'll probably work on that firewood tomorrow because I told you guys we'd saw some ash today. A little bit of sawdust here to clean up. Looks like a full load on the bucket of the 574. Haul that down to the burn pile before we get started. And here on the sawmill, Got some spotted maple I need to stack and move it off the bed. 
And right there's the ash log, ready to go. All right, friends, the day has gotten away from me at seven o'clock, and I do love this time of year, but I do not like that the daytime hours get shorter. What I mean is, it starts getting dark earlier, and I don't like that. That's the only downside of fall, I guess, is the days start getting shorter. But other than that, perfect time of year, especially to be sawmill. On the mill, we got an ash, it's eight feet long. It does have this English ivy on it, most of it's died though, it's not a problem. We'll skin this log to four slab cuts and get rid of that stuff and it'll be gone forever. On the sawmill, we got a Joe Main Silver Tip Turbo 7. If you want those blades, give him a phone call. His cell phone number's down in the video description. And I just put that blade on there so we got a nice fresh blade that should have no trouble plowing through this ash here. This ash was killed by the emerald ash borer. Most of you guys are familiar with that. If you're not, you can Google it and read all about it. But most of our ash trees in North America, probably maybe the next 10 or 20 years, they'll all be gone more than likely, or probably 90% of them. That's what I hear from the people that I talk to in the forestry industry. So hang in there, guys. Let's open this one up and see what we got. Should be a pretty good log. One more thing here, friends. I forgot to mention this earlier. Some people have been asking me down in the comments, how do I support you on the channel? I don't do Patreon. I don't do subscriptions or none of that stuff or super chats. And if you want to support me here on the channel and you don't want to do those other things, you can go buy a t-shirt. Guys, I've got all kinds of different t-shirts and hats at farmfocus.com. There's a link down below in the top comment, also in the video description. If you go buy a shirt, it helps keep these cameras going, friends, because I just bought two cameras last week, and this new microphone right here was almost $600. So these videos are pretty expensive to make, actually. So go check it out, and I appreciate your support. It means a lot.